Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Siti Nohani binti Al-Mahdi from M3 AT2204A. My student ID is 2022-900639. Would like to present about current issue in agricultural economics which is labor shortage in agriculture economics. This video presentation is present for Madam Fatin Munira. Introduction about agriculture economics. Agriculture economics is study of, of the allocation, distribution and utilization of resources used along with the commodities produced by farming. Agriculture economics plays a role in the economics of development for a continuous level of farm surplus is one of the well springs of technological and commercial growth. Labor shortage in agriculture economics. Dependency of foreign workers in the agriculture sector is due to lack of interest among the community, low wages and social status. Some strategies are needed to encourage the use of local labor, especially when the country is hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the lack of interest of locals to get involved in the agricultural sector will also affect the productivity of crops when they have to work on farms. Labor shortage arises when the demand of workers in an occupation exceeds the supply of workers available who possess the required skills and are willing to work at a specific wages rate and in specific working condition in a particular place and point in a time. Factor that lead to labor shortage. For the first one is seasonal factor. The seasonal nature of the agriculture sector. The laborers work only for a few months in a year, so they start looking for permanent jobs and regular income. The second one is low wages. Non-agricultural industry provide some good wages compared to agricultural sector. Then, labor welfare management. Employee welfare facilities in the organization affected the behavior of the employees as well as the productivity of the organization. The logic behind the providing welfare scheme is to create efficient, healthy, loyal and satisfied labor force for the organization and to make their work life better and also to raise their standard of living. The last one is training and development. Training is a fundamental and effective instrument in successful accomplishment of the firm of the firm's goals and objectives, resulting in higher productivity. The organization provides development and enhanced quality of new existing employees through training. The main training in the plantation only focus on the practical training compared to the to theory training. Conclusion, companies should re-strategize their wage structure, particularly on the harvester's wage. Therefore, the government should take an action to prevent the worker shortage issue in the plantation by encouraging local younger generation to work in the plantation sectors. Besides that, the questionnaire also should be improved by adding more variables such as, such as attitude level of the estate management and foreign worker in relation to productivity and policy implication towards the estate management. In addition, the waste structure, this rate, comparison of the harvesters with the current practice by the plantation sector should be included in the future study. That's all from me. Thank you.